Hello there, YouTubers! Here we are once again with another Sansui product. This time round, the Sansui B2101 power amplifier, or main amplifier. So you can see, there it is, sitting on the workbench, all taken apart. And uh, did need some minor service and uh, quite a bit of cleaning. And as you can see, this is pretty impressive. This unit does 200 watts RMS into 8 ohms and I think 300 watts peak per channel. You can see we're having, uh, <laughs> having a nice huge toroidal power supply right there. Nice toroidal transformer. You can see how high that is. This is, uh, this is very, very big. And uh, these fingerprints I put on there in a previous take. I have four filter capacitors, 10,000 microfarads, 95 volts. Well, that's quite something. Then we have the actual amplifiers. The driver modules are sitting up front. I think this is a dual mono setup with separate grounds and everything for each channel. This is, uh, this is the front. These are the input sensitivity switches. These are selector switches. These are not potentiometers. Uh, and there you can see all the resistors. They are switching right there. And uh, these regulators will need some, uh, some cleaning because uh, when I first turned on the unit, I got a constant crackle out of one of the channels and as I found out it's not a bad capacitor or anything bad like that it's just a dirty switch I think this one right there the problem is the green part covers up the contacts and it's going to be very hard to get contact spray into there uh, one of the knobs um, was falling apart so I glued that back together this uh, the metal cap was falling off of the uh, plastic holding piece plastic insert there are the view meters. The, uh, the labeling uh, is being lit up by a light bulb right there, but unlike uh, with a pre-amplifier, I'm not going to mess with this light bulb. It still works and uh, it doesn't seem to be one of the types that like to fail. The circuit board right there, I'm not exactly sure what that does. If it uh, supplies power just to the... Uh... Yeah, um, I do know what it does. It supplies power to the to the VU meters, to all of that, and it also supplies a voltage to the driver boards. But uh, you can tell by the size, it, uh, <laughs> it's not uh, supplying the, uh, the actual uh, power amplifiers with uh, juice. <laughs> there it is, usually it's mounted like that. I have some switches underneath. Those uh, are still good. And uh, Behind here, we are having uh, what appears to be the uh, basically most of the safety circuitry. We have a bunch of relays on there for the speakers and uh, all of that, and a fuse, obviously. This is another problem right here. Now, uh, also this, uh, this unit right here suffered uh, some minor shipping damage. Uh, in this case, the, uh, the input plugs, which are looking out through the back right there, uh, they were pushed in, kind of like the phono jacks on the preamplifier. Now in this case, unfortunately, it's not as easy. As you can see, I have this clamp right here because I actually had to super glue the jacks back together and I hope it worked. So you can see this is an actual Sansui part, so uh, you can't just go with something else. And uh, what happened is uh, when these jacks were pushed in, it cracked right there. And, uh, I kind of super glued it back together right there, but I'm not sure how well it's going to uh, hold on. But uh, well, may actually be pretty good. But uh, there you can see it, separate grounds for the two channels. And uh, well, basically that's it. We have the uh, the covers. I uh, cleaned those already. The uh, top cover looks pretty impressive. It is made of out of uh, very high quality thick metal, but 
the grills that you can see these are inserts and they are made out of plastic so uh, oh well and there we have the input jacks mounted back in their place and unfortunately the very first stress test revealed that my repair was not good enough it uh, it is back to uh, how it was when I got it actually when I got it, it was pushed in so far that it, it wouldn't look out this far as you can see the upper jack is kind of loose due to that cracked part the the lower one actually works pretty well so I guess that's going to be a little imperfection but I can live with that now this right here I have taken apart because there was another issue that uh, required a lot of cleaning apparently the previous owner really uh, didn't take very good care of this unit it actually got wet at some point and uh, so I had basically all along where you can now see these uh, these shiny parts I had corrosion lots and lots and lots of corrosion I actually used abrasive paper and uh, you know cleaning cleaned that all off of there and it did it did turn out very nice and important thing to do is uh, when you're working with abrasive paper hold a vacuum cleaner hose right next to it because otherwise you're going to get all the shavings into the electronics and you definitely don't want that and for that reason I'm also going to go ahead and carry this all to the compressor and blow it out once again just to make sure that I don't have any unexpected rubbish in there this board I, uh, I also took out to uh, inspect the capacitors on there and they are all fine so no need to worry about that that's just a felt tip marker right there and there we have it mostly back together in one piece some things I do want to add here we have the faceplate all nicely cleaned up and uh, as you can see we are having one pretty major scratch right there but that's not too bad and we have the regulator knobs that I had to glue back together this one's kind of scratched, but that's not too bad either. So you can see I haven't set them to full level for a good reason. <laughs> the speakers I will be using uh, with this power amplifier are going to be terribly overloaded with just 100 watts. So uh, 300 watts of uh, maximum peak output power is definitely too much. Now uh, we have the inside. You can kind of look down onto the bottom panel down there that really need to be cleaned that was incredibly filthy so uh, did that and we have that it is and uh, Sansui calls this an uh, X balanced amp system don't really know what's uh, what's going on with that now, I was saying in the pre-amplifier restoration video, I was going to uh, turn the output, the, the uh, power output jack, the unswitched power output jack, or the main amplifier into a switched power output jack. Well, as you can see, I can't do that. The mains input is pretty much directly connected to that uh, plug. And then the white and brown wires that's where the AC goes into the main amplifier so that would re require some major modifications and I don't want to do major modifications so uh, well take a last look inside because now I'll be putting the cover back on quick look at the top cover another imperfection right there color is coming off right there it's not too bad you could actually if you wanted to you could repaint this whole entire panel just take the plastic parts out and it wouldn't be a miracle to do cleaned up those plastic grills really nicely there was a lot of dirt stuck in there I actually used an old toothbrush to do that uh, that's looking pretty good again as well and last but not least look at the back of the unit and there it is we do have a uh, speaker impedance selector up there voltage selector of course set to 240 volts AC outlet unswitched remains unswitched unfortunately the uh, speaker terminals right there they luckily were screwed all the way in during the shipping 
I guess if that w would have not been the case, uh, I uh, would have gotten some nice bend speaker terminals as well. So that was some good luck. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.